G'day guys, we've got a uh, coordinate geometry question here for you today where we've been asked to prove that the points A, B, C, D, E and F all lie on the same circle centre O with coordinates 5, 9. So what we have here is we've got a circle and we've got to see if all of these points lie on the red circle. Now how are we going to do that? So what we're going to do is let's say we've got a point and we'll call it point A and we've got another point and we'll call this one point B. Now these two points will lie on the same circle if the distance from the center of the circle to A and the distance from the center of the circle to B are the same. Now there are two ways that we can go about proving that these are the same. What we can do is we can substitute them all into a circle formula and see if the radius that it uh, produces is the same. Or we can just go find the uh, just the lengths or the distances between O and B, O and A, O and C, O and D, O and E, and O and F. So the way we can do this, if these um, points all lie on the same circle with coordinates 5 comma 9. They're going to have to satisfy the equation x take 5 all squared plus y take 9 all squared equals r squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug the first one into here and maybe the second one into here and then what I'll do is I'll quickly fill out the rest of them so you don't have to tediously watch me go through all of these to see if all the R squared values are the same. And like I said before, we could also, I'm not going to do this method, but we could, if we wanted to, just find the distances between O and A and O and B and O and C, D, E and F by using like a formula such as this. If we find the distance between O and A by going the square root of, we will usually just go x1 minus x2, x2 minus x1, and we're going to square that, plus y2 minus y1, and we're going to square that. But you can see that these two things are quite similar. The methods are basically the same. So what we're going to do, let's start with this top one and we're going to use the point A. All right, so let's get to it. So we have the point A and this is 29, 16. So we're going to substitute it into the circle formula that we have here. So this is going to be 29 minus 5 all squared plus 16 minus 9 all squared and that's going to equal 29 take 5 is 24 squared plus 16 take 9 is 7 squared now, 24 squared is 576, and 7 squared is 49. Now, if we add those two numbers together, we get 625, which is equal to... No, it's not. It's equal to... Sorry, mental maths was a little bit off there which is equal to 25 squared. So you can see what I've done here is I've just plugged in the x and y coordinates into my uh, circle formula which I have at the top and I've been given a radius of 25. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the next one, b for you. 25,24. Now again, so I'm just going to plug it into the same formula. I'm going to have 25 minus 5 squared plus 24 minus 9 squared which is equal to 
25 take 5 is 20 squared, plus 24 take 9 is 15 squared, which is equal to 400 plus 225, which is equal to 625 or 25 squared. So you can see how A and B are both the same distance away from O. So they would still, both A and B, although they're at different points, would lie on the same circumference of this circle. So what we do is we basically do the same method. I know it's tedious, but for each one of C, D, E, and F. Okay, so now what we've done is we've computed the distances or the radiuses for each of these points A, B, C, D, E, and F from the point O, which is the center of the circle, 5, 9. So from here, what we're going to do is you can hopefully see that all of the radiuses are exactly the same length. So because of that, we can say that if all of the radiuses are the same length, all of these points lie on the same circumference. And that's what we're going to write as our solution. So we're going to write as the points all lie 25 units from O, which is, let's just write that one down for a bit of clarity, 5 comma 9, they all, um, they all must lie on the same circumference. Cool, so let's just um, backtrack on what we've done. So what I did to start with is I came up with a, a method that I was going to use to prove the points. So I had to decide whether I was going to use the circle formula or the distance formula. They would have both worked equally well. I chose to use the circle formula, um, no particular reason. I just, you know, you could toss a coin if you wanted to. And so what I did is I entered in my x and y values for each of my points into my circle formula and computed what r squared was. And what I was looking for is if they were all going to lie on the same circle, then the r squared values for each of these uh, calculations are going to be exactly the same. So what we did is we calculated them all. We saw that they were all equal to 25. And as a result, they all must lie on the same circumference of a circle. So I hope this video helped, guys. If it did, you know, give it a like and, you know, subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos all the time. Uh, if you have any problems, feel free to leave them in the comments section below and I'll answer them as soon as I possibly can. But until next time, guys, definitely enjoy your maths.